And all your guys to be on there too. I'm going on out of this year. Good afternoon, it's Regatta time here in Salt Pond, Long Island, the 52nd edition in full swing. And as you can see out there on the waters, the sails are down, and there's a reason for that. The A class sloops just went out to start their first series race. We will get to you a bit later on why it was the first series race, but there was not enough wind, so Commodore Chester Fox told the boats to put their sails up and come back in. They will not race anymore today. They did race yesterday. It was supposed to be their first series race, but we got a confirmation a few minutes ago also from Commodore Chester Fox as to why yesterday's race in this A-Class did not count. Yeah, what happened was at the start of the race yesterday, um, actually the race shouldn't have even been started because I think we had probably less than two, two mile an hour wins. And, um, but um, I went ahead and the guys was pressuring me to start racing. I went ahead and did it anyway. We had a bad, but against my better judgment and started the race anyway. And then um, when I realized they, they were both weren't going over and then um, I went and the head sky got turned around by the Southern Cross. I went to see it happen. Then I got, I even, I um, got caught up in the air rope and everything. So I impeded their progress. So I told them, I said, this race, shouldn't be going on anyway, I'm going to stop the race. So I went and I hailed the lead boats to good news. The Red Stripe was in second at the time, Running Tide was in third at the time, and Legend was in fourth at the time. And if they want to be honest, all of them could tell you, I went and hailed them, I said, this race need to stop and restart, but they continued to sail. And I went again and I told them, I said, we need to stop the race, but they continued to sail. So I said, you know what, I'll, I'll explain, and then I'm, the um, air sky, the captain of the air sky, he wrote a formal protest. I told him to write a, write a formal protest and we'll deal with it. And we, and we had a protest committee have a look at it. And they felt that the race should have been thrown out. And I support that, I support that decision 100%. Do the other skippers agree with it? Well, it's, it's, um, well, you see, the thing about this is, Fisher, if I'm the Commodore, I can't, um, I can't worry about what the other skippers agree with. I have to, I have to do what is right. If, I, if the sport is going to grow, I have to do what is right. You know? So how does this throw the A-Class off? Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be a, a major factor in A-Class, but I know sometimes um, sometimes you have to make a make a, um, a decision with a ruling as to who won with one, with one race happening, you know, so we'll have to do what we have to do, but, you know, fair is fair, man, for sure. I, I believe in being fair. And then this morning, a problem with the wind? Yeah, well, um, at the beginning of the race, the wind was beautiful, but um, we got the first race in within... Um, Within a half hour, the first race was finished, and then at the beginning of this, the beginning of the second race, we had some wind, but then after that, it just went to nothing. And for those people who um, who know about weather, like this time of year, when you got like the wind trailing anywhere from southeast to south, and then you see like these big, what we call them, cross trumpets hanging over, it just sucks all the wind away. So there is no racing right now. Once again, the A-class sloops will have to race back to back to back races tomorrow in their series race coming up later on today hopefully they can get the b-class second series race but yesterday they also had races in the c-class they sailed for the bmh cup and that was won by xena followed by witty cake with bull reg coming in second and they were able to sail the two series races again and xena once again the champions out of exuma taking the cannon with Bull Reds second, Barbarian was third, Barely Legal fourth, Riddy K finished way right down fifth, By Gully was sixth, Lady Eunice, It Ain't Right, H2O, and Irene Goodnight rounded out the top ten. And then in the second series race in Class C, the champion there once again was Zena so Dawn Knowles and crew looking pretty comfortable to the throne, the Riddy K and win this year's Class C regatta. They have already won the cup and they have already won the first two series race. Lady Eunice was second, Lady Diane third, Legal Weapon fourth, Barely Legal was fifth, rounding out the top ten 
was Bull Reg, H2O, Hit in Rice, Sacrifice, and Termite. And guess what? Riddy K, they are having their problems in this year's regatta. They finished a disappointing 12th. Stefan Knowles and crew will have to really, really dig deep tomorrow if they want to get back into the point standing. But right now, it looks like Xena is in cruise control. Yesterday, they also held the official opening ceremony, short and sweet and right to the point. You are welcome to enjoy the skillful, skillful arts of sloop sailing. And we want to compel you to enjoy the competitive and vibrant spirit of Long Islanders who fully embrace the sport of sloop sailing. Ladies and gentlemen, while you are this 52nd regatta, take time to experience the beautiful nature and natural natures and wonders of Long Island, such as the Dane's Blue Hole, the deepest blue hole in the world. I also would like for you to enjoy some of the nightlife. I see we have various live bands and the hottest DJs in town. So you can enjoy yourself, dance and enjoy yourself. And with saying that, I will now would like to welcome you to 52 years of regatta sailing and to your visitors on this island welcome welcome to long island and at this time declare this 52nd long island regatta officially open thank you ladies and gentlemen and as we go to our break we'd like to thank our many sponsors for making it possible, the Long Island Sailing Association, Atlantic College, Designer Clothing Shop Smart, Lloyd's Sporting Lounge, where the NBA Finals game number four will be watched tonight, and Captain Raymond Meadows and the Flamingo Air Crew. We'll be right back here, Salt Paul, Long Island, in the 52nd Regatta, right after this break. Some people come from all over, some normal and some insane. Some people come on board, some people come on board. Come and see the boat race. Come and see the plantation fields. Come and see how these people live. In. Come and see the plantation fields. Come and see how these people live in. See that. We are back here in Salt Pond, Long Island, the 52nd Regatta. And guess what? There is no sitting at this point because, once again, the winds are not enough for the A class sloops to get on the water yesterday. They did sail one race, and as we heard from Chester Fox, that race was not counted because of a protest. So the A class will have to sail. Hopefully, three races tomorrow, this wind can pick up. We've seen it here before in the Long Island Regatta. Joining me on the broadcast here right now is Keith Carroll. He's on the uh, Long Island Sailing Community, co 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 Community Association. I love but everything, let me just put it like that. He helps with the onshore activity. He helps with the ground activity. He helps with the sailing. So, wind, we've seen this before in terms of not enough winds. Yeah, yeah, Charles. You know, you only get pray that you have these winds when you come to the Regatta. There's no... Um, um, there's no uh, 
you don't know you don't know what's gonna have. You know, you just come up to the house, you gotta you prepare for them and things that just happen. Sometimes you have too much when you can't sell, sometimes you don't have none. So this time we don't have any win. And um, um you know, people are disappointed, but what could you do? You're still able to join the onshore activity. Yeah, I guess everybody right now is look there they're in the partying mood. <laughs> you see the people getting around. So I think there's a good thing for the boot on the boots the uh, the people with the boots, they'll make more money because a lot of people in they are dancing, they're having fun. So now we know Whit Monday is a holiday and most people would have liked for you the guys to extend it to Whit Monday holiday. Well it was up to me. I'll sail straight up to Monday. Because I'm not going back to Nassau until Tuesday. Uh -huh. So um, but you know people already have plans to leave the barge is coming in tomorrow night to pick up the boats and everything. So we ho we hope to have enough breeze tomorrow. The sales and races back to back, so we can finish the regatta and, and crown the champion. The Long Island Fair was held earlier this year. Out of Montague, how successful was that? Very, very good. It's first, first time we move it up there. You know, we had a mini regatta up there, and everybody was saying that um, you all should have your fair up there. So um, we got together um, and do what the your customers want. You know, we take it there, and it was, I should say, one of our most successful fairs. From I was around, and I sure um, the future it'll be our home. And most people were asking for two days because that Sunday people wanted to come back. Yeah, Nothing yeah. Was to do. I think I think we can end up doing it for two days because we have our mini regatta, two days. So I, you know, I tell the directors, I said the same week that we do to have one day, we set up these tents to get everything. We could we can make all that work uh, come for two days. So more than likely next year, we might just have it for two days. Uh, once again, they are ordering three purses in this year's regatta. Yesterday, we showed you one, and here's another, the lady of the crew. Thanks to all who had anything to do with it, the Long Island Association or others. Appreciate it very much. When I was growing up, before I left home, I used to help my dad when he used to sell the sales. I used to help him guard it. Like when he sold sales at night, I'd be up with him and hold the sale for him. And then after that, when I got married, I went to Nassau. And when I came back, I started to help my dad do the sales on the sewing machine. I made sales for different boats, like my brother's boats. Some of those was the uh, stormy weather, the ocean wave. Um, the legend when she started, and other boats. Growing up in a home, my granddad, he had a boat, and he used to go to the farm like he leave at home from Mangrobush and he had to go across the water to go up to a different place to work. And I used to, he used to ask me to go with him, but I know he's heisting the sail and lowering the sail, I know about that. But when they started um, Long Island Sailing Club, I was in here. That's when Mr. Cottis he used to be a school teacher in, 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 um, in MGM, or oh, Mango Bush. I can remember one of them. And he started, got the guys again, they started the race, the regatta. And the regatta it would bring people home, to like a film gathering and you know, things like that. But, you know, you have to have people to work keep working and keep it together. Well, Long Island is definitely strong and key. You were telling me about your days as one of the honorees. Ivy was telling us just now about your days growing up here around Regatta. Well, Julian, um, I remember when, I mean, sorry, Charles, <laughs> I remember when we, uh, as young boys, we used to sleep in that um, shed over there because we didn't know, you know, we used to catch ride down there. So we was just sure we was going to get back home or how we was going to get back. 
So we used to come down and sleep down there for the four nights down there. We used to have the old men like Rafi Gardray and Edmund Knowles and Roy Arden. They used to chase us out there because we, you know, we used to little hellish fellas. Mm. And not knowing none that I would ever come up to be in this position to do what they used to be doing and uh, to promote our regatta and take it to a different level. But we have, I mean, if, if you see our site now to compare, say, 15 years ago, we really have taken this to a different level. And every year we try to, to um, um, expand it, make it better. And one thing I say, you're using a lot of homegrown talent this year. Uh, the original's on right now, playing oh, in the oh, background. Yeah, yeah. The DJ only playing native music, and the crowd just seems to be loving it. Yes, and, and, and Julian, if you noticed last night, we had a tree, tree beat band here um, from Long Island. Um, we decided that we decided in our meeting in Long Island in, in Nassau that we're going to use the talent we have in Long Island. Our motto was going to be. What you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. So we use all our talent from Long Island. And if you was here last night to see the old Tree Peas guy, you didn't know if they came in from Nassau or what, because they had the crowd rocking. So what you see is what you got. And we're going to show you some of the highlights of the entertainment from day yesterday. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's the high tide band from last night and lots more entertainment. What other entertainment can we expect over the next tonight and tomorrow? Well, I think we're going we're gonna to have the high tide back here. We're going to have the originals back here. Um, I think the, I think the, 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 the school kids, gonna, they're going to do something later on. So we just hope that um, um, we have some breeze doing, I mean, Charles will finish this, this regatta. And so we get, we get crowned champions, you know. I think we already have a champion in the C-Class. Zena. And I'm, um, I'm, we really want one in A-Class. You know, I have a favorite in A-Class, but that's another talk. Anybody can tell who you're pulling for. You have on the new Legend jersey from head to toe. We're yeah. going to take a break here. We'd like to thank Keith Carroll for joining us here on Long Island. It's regarded time. And when we come back, we'll have much more of the sights and sound of Long Island. Come and see the plantation fields. Come and see how these people live in. See that Long Island is real. I got to know Long Island, we got to this year. Cause everybody that I know is gonna be there. This one drinking me rum and this one drinking me bell. I got to know Long Island. The boat race. Come and see the plantation fields. Come and see how these people live in. See that 
Just all to Paul Long Island, the 50 second version. I'm so privileged to be among this beautiful young lady this afternoon, Stephanie Harding. She is the first female president of the Long Island Sailing Association. And back then, how hard was it to get into this male, so-called dominated sport and show the boys that you could do it? Yes, well, I've been a director for many years before. So I knew the ropes. So it was kind of easy, you know. Um, it's hard finding a president, so um, they were glad to give me the opportunity to do it. So that is how it came about. How was the regard about that, not as big as it is now? Uh, no, not quite as big, and it wasn't as many tents and things like that. But we had lots of um, people from Exoma, Nassau, and Long Islanders. Um, we, had, we had a good crowd, but not like today, of course. Did you ever imagine see it growing to this level? It is, it is just wonderful. I am really happy to see the amount of people that take time out to come and um, visit our island. Um, I am only a dependent, but I've worked over the years, for many, many years, in the association. And um, I am just happy to see how it has grown, and I just hope and pray that we can, you know, that it will continue to um, just go forward and just be better and uh, the weather be as well. We need the breeze, but we can only, you know, we can only get what we get. So we're happy with what we have, and I'm sure all the people that have come have enjoyed themselves, and I hope they continue to do to enjoy themselves um, on this occasion. I know one thing they are enjoying here at the Regatta site is the good, scrumptious, tasty food that is being offered. Mutton, chicken, just about everything. Everything. And, and you know me, I go around testing all the shots. So at the end of the day, I probably may be able to tell you which shark has the best food. But we also had a chance to pass by the jerk pit. The oh, boy yes. them jerk pit. Oh, yes. Island by yes. Jerk is the a name that was thought of by Edwin Simonet. He's also a known artist, uh, featured at the National Art Gallery of the Bahamas. But it's the name, you know, as you know, boy is a bohemian term that we use. And so he said, island boy, and you come into the island, you can get your version of the island jerk chicken that only Jamaica is credited with it. This is the Bahamian or cocoa version of the jerk chicken or the jerk flavor. What is your specialty? Of? Our specialty is the cocoa jerk sauce that we put on our different meats. We have pork, we have chicken, we have mutton, we have grilled fish, all with a specialized sauce made and incorporated by Mr. Simonet. And so that is what we have. Today, each day our menu is different. So tomorrow we're going to have some shrimp, we're going to have some mutton, we're going to also have a little bit of mahi mahi. And then on Saturday, you're going to get a conch special again with the same sauce. So our patented cocoa jerk sauce is what makes Island Bay jerk different from everyone. Also, I want them to know that our preparation process is different. Our preparation process is it's baked. Our fish is placed on a grill, but it's all basted in our special sauce, sat into it, and cooked. And when you get that, you bite in that, its flavor is very different. You won't have that charcoal -y taste like everyone else. Also using that Wilson curve salad, you have different from Kong. Yes, sir. Well, we have curved salads, very different from conk, and so you know many people offer conks at these events. So we went with the curbs, which are a bit more exclusive, a little bit difficult to deal with, and acquire a specialty and understanding seasoning, and our able team did that and pulled that off very well, and so that's been going like hotcakes. That is made fresh every day. We don't fresh and freeze, we make fresh and serve. When I get upset, I'm going to head right down there, Miss Harding. And you're saying Long Island people can't cook. Oh yes, my grandmother, uh, I started coming to Long Island at six years old. So, so my grandmother was an excellent cook. My mother was an excellent cook. My daughter is an excellent cook. I'm not an excellent cook, I'm a gardener. <laughs> but I love good food. And you can see right and there, all the good food yes, is out here. Everybody comes for that good Long Island mutton and fish and all the other good stuff. And one thing you know, when you're on the island, it's not only being here at the regatta site, but there's lots of attraction oh, all yes. around here to go, for folks to go and see. Yes, everywhere you go, somebody got a good pot cooking up and they offer you some food. <laughs> We're talking about sights and sounds. Long Island, 
Boy, they have one of the strangest, unique places in the world that persons come from way over just to see. It's the famous World Dean's Blowhole. It is a phenomenal picture. I mean, just look. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's, you know, we can do our diving and we have the short. Um, it's only about like two feet deep, so I could take him in there and it's crystal clear and there's a reef there so it protects us so there's no sharks or scary things that can come in here. And it's just a beautiful place. How deep do you go in the middle? Me personally? <laughs> I'm lucky if I can make 15 feet. But we do have an annual diving contest here and people do make it down to like three, 300, 400 feet, which is, it goes down to 668 feet. But um, obviously people can't exactly go that far down. <laughs> but. I love the south of Long Island. It's just more rugged and not a lot of people come here. As you can see, there's nobody here and it's, it's, we're just blessed to be able to be in this environment. environment. Yeah, it's so peaceful. yeah, it's just so peaceful, you know. And you look get, at it. You get to go with it. I think it's, it's very nice. You know, it's wide and uh, 600 something feet deep. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really beautiful spot. Dean's Blue Hole, where persons come from all over the world just to get a, Have you ever been in Dean's Blue Hole? Oh, yes. What amazes me is how close the sand is to the actual hole. It, when I first saw it, I couldn't believe it. I mean, the tears just flew, to, just came down. It's, it's a beauty. I we, try and go there every time I come to Long Island. We were there, the, some of the crew members, that was their first time seeing that, some visitors were there, and we were telling them that people come from all over the world. Nobody knows how deep it is. They've tried and they've tried. And, and, and it seems like it's, it's a mystery to the world. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. And it is, absolutely. We have two in our property in Ramstrong Island. We have two ocean holes there, right in the property. And they are beautiful as well. One is big and one is a little smaller, but it's beautiful. Well, I saw you a few minutes ago just moving oh. and grooving with the originals. You grew up on the originals. Oh, yes. I, now, I come to listen to that. Uh -huh. I'm not a sailor. I love to listen to the music and talk to the people and just greet family and friends. On your days, as present as we can see some of the folks here, no oh, yes. sailing right now. They hopefully can get in a B-class race later on today. They had two C-class races this morning, both won by Xena. The A-class sloops were on the water, but not enough wind to sail, so they called them back in. And hopefully later on this afternoon, the winds can pick up on the B-class. But people are not worried about that. They just want to have a good time. Oh, yes. Meet family and friends they've not seen in a long time, and that's probably what you're doing as well. It's exactly what I'm doing. I came to see my brother. I have a granddaughter here and three great-grandchildren. Wow. So it's always a play and many, many friends and cousins and the works. One day so I it's always a pleasure One to thing come I can back. say, the Long Island people, they are very nice and it was a pleasure being among royalty, sitting on the side <laughs> of Stephanie Hardy. She's the very first president of the Long Island Sailors Association. Thanks for joining us on Long Island. It's regarded time. Everybody look forward to this time of the year. But that's going to be our broadcast here for today. We'll be back on the air tomorrow at 3.30 with another edition of Long Island. It's regarded time. But you can also tune into this evening newscast. We'll show you much more from today's action on behalf of the crew, on behalf of the crew working behind the scenes. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. You be so happy on Long Island soil. Mutton sauce in the morning or a nice group of oil. Big money was my plan. Woman and fast living made me a broken man. But I'll be back on Long Island again. Where the people are so nice and free. We got our time again. It's time again. Ready to party. We ready to party. Everybody flow, watch the people.